New Year, new news, still your same old favorite channel. We start right here, right now. Happy New Year, Romies! Welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to our regular news roundup. Welcome to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. When time permits, please consider subscribing. If you have any news for us, send us a mail to news at romrom.net. How did you spend your holidays, Romies? Hopefully racing and enjoying this our wonderful hobby, which numbers continue to grow as we will tell you in a bit. And what did Santa bring you to expand your joy? Let us know in the comments. Clearly showing WRC10 is not meant as a long-term sim, just a couple of months since it released, Nakan are declaring they have released the last big update for it. While there is no new content in it, some of the game modes have been updated. This update is for now only available for PC and Xbox with the PlayStation version expected next week. This update brings the team's online mode where you can compete against other teams for a different challenge every week during 4 weeks until the season closes, as well as online multiplayer championship. There have also been some fixes to the sim where now all cars are going to be aligned with the starting line, the exhaust flame of the Ford Fiesta 2017 comes out of the right place and if you are using a DualSense PS5 controller on PC, you will now get haptic feedback. Sim racing is becoming a growing trend which makes us all happy I hope. With 18,383 average daily users, we registered the highest number of sim racers since we started collecting the data last April. Therefore, it's no surprise most all sims experience higher usage numbers than normal. Holidays is the time you avoid all the family visiting and get in front of your wheel for your real passion, right? Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione Automobilista 2, BeamNG Drive and Cardcraft showed the best numbers since we've been having a look at them. Cardcraft, of course, supported by the multiplayer beta we reported on our last news last year. Even Race Room, despite the enormous technical issues since the last update, stopped its downward spiral for once and had better usage numbers than the month before but not the best ever. Sadly for our factor 2, the usage numbers went down once again, as did, surprisingly, those for Wreckfest. But unsurprisingly, they did for NASCAR 21 too, as the latter is still a stinking pile of crap. These numbers surely will go down in January again, when people have to attend to such nuisances like work. Bah humbug. While in our last video we made fun of the bloated marketing of iRacing and rightfully so, this next acquisition by them may result in more important ways forward for the company as iRacing just acquired Monster Games, the company behind the NASCAR Heat Simcades, now of course not able to do them anymore. Once again, iRacing is buying up a studio that knows how to bring racing to those interested in it and after the fiasco of NASCAR 21, it will be interesting to see where the developers of Monster Games will be put to use. From what iRacing say, the Orontes developers as well as the Monster developers will not be added to the number of developers for iRacing but will be working on their own projects which are undisclosed at the moment. Who will definitely become part of the iRacing team is the president and owner of Monster Games, Rich Garcia, who already was part of Papyrus, the company that became iRacing. Monster Games new product will appear during this year and we suppose without any further knowledge that it will be a racing game of some sort, which as far as the press release tells us will be also using some technology as well as further assets from iRacing. Reading between the lines, it seems iRacing's plan is to release racing games to pique the curiosity of interested gamers who then might want to move into sim racing, a road many of us have taken and are still taking. 
Very interesting news indeed, and if nothing else, it's proof that sim racing specifically, as well as racing games in general, are a growing market. We welcome everyone who shares our passion for driving fast while standing still, and we'll watch the further development of iRacing and the other products of the iRacing family with bated breath. With so many leagues out there, we still regularly see people searching for their league, and we, as always, want to spread the joy of sim racing. As you know, we love to support any sim racing league in the world and even comment on races from time to time, as they are great fun. If you have a league, we're sure you are always searching for new drivers and we offer you an opportunity to show yourself. We are going to present one league per week in our news and we are opening up a page in our website where we'll present all the leagues for people to find their preferred choice. And if you are searching for a league, not only will we present one every week in our news, we are going to publish all the leagues that have contacted us on our website for you to find the one. Furthermore, we're opening up a chat in our Discord for league organizers to exchange ideas, share tips or just hang out and talk with other organizers, maybe start some collaborations or friendly league versus league battles. Anything goes. Get in contact with us right away, preferably using the Google form we've set up just for you. Let's get the family tighter together, sharing the joy of sim racing. This week's league spotlight falls on AMS Unofficial. Founded in 2018, they are a completely racer-focused sim racing league as they run all their races in Automobilista and Automobilista 2. Their motto is race like gentlemen, although we are sure ladies are welcome to compete as well. IMS Unofficial has multiple formats from fun one-off events to more serious championship seasons with point systems. This league is quite active. You can find them on track four times a week, each time starting qualifying at 21.15 UTC. There's usually at least 10 cars per race and full grids are not uncommon. Some recent cars they've driven to the limit, or so we suppose, are 1950s Formula 1, Stadium Super Trucks, 1960s sports prototypes and 2010s Formula 3. From historic beauties to modern marbles, if it's in Automobilista or Automobilista 2, there's a good chance of this league running it. After all, variety is the spice of life, and if you need coaching or sim racing advice, they are more than happy to help. You can join them using the Discord link in the description. If you like this video and would like to see more, consider becoming a patron, thus letting us spread our wings. And a big thank you to our first two patrons. On the last day of the last year, Razer had nothing better to do than posting an update of the sim as well as an update of the roadmap. We hope they partied hard after that into the new year in what has been a good year for them but they've been good to us too. Anyway, while this update jumps a whole number from 1311 to 1320, it's not as big, or dare we say, revolutionary as other versions, while still being big. It brings Fanatec's CSLDD control sets as well as an update for Fanatec's rumble motors. It also fixed incorrect wheel range for some controllers. With regards to the UI, if you had issues saving your driver profile in the past, check again now, it should be fixed. Also, you will now see favorite content in your profile screen. And you know when you think you are ready to race, but then realize you forgot something? Well, you can now unready yourself in the pre-race screen. We've all been there, right? This is Reza and you know what comes next. A metric ton of physics fixes. The ideal temperature and range has been fixed for all tires. The tire treads have been adjusted slightly for Group C cars, F Classic, Generations 1 and 2, street and vintage tires, as have been many default setups, like lots of them. 
The gear ratios of the Super V8 cars have been adjusted and you won't have pre-warmed tires anymore for stock car 2019, 2020 and 21 and Copa Montana. The AI has of course been tweaked once again, especially when they have to deal with the pits. Many corrections there, as well as resolving an issue where they got stuck in reverse gear. Tracks! Tons of changes and tweaks to existing tracks, adding graphic details to Cleveland, The Glen and Azure 2021, correcting the rolling start location in Daytona, Monza, Long Beach and Hacaripagua and a thousand other tweaks and corrections which you can see if you follow the link in our description. There you will also be able to see the different small corrections they've done to assorted vehicles. Moving on to the update of the roadmap, they acknowledge they have not yet delivered the content promise for different DLCs, the Racing USA Part 2 especially. They don't promise it but they talk about delivering those first thing this year. Of course, it's not only parts of the Racing USI Part 2 DLC that are missing, it's also the historic versions of Spa and the Nürburgring, which we can expect to appear in Automobilista 2 during this first quarter of the year. And if you want to read up on the force feedback system or the multiplayer rating system, they want to deliver digital documentation of both during the next few weeks. What else do they expect to deliver? The Formula Retro Generation 3 will bring don't call them Formula 1 cars from 1983 into the sim. A year of many technical changes in the series, especially reducing downforce effects and cornering speeds. Also, this season saw the first carbon monocoque. First car of this era to appear in the sim will be the McLaren. No surprise here, as Reza already made a deal with the team even before Automobilista 2 was out. But expect the Brabham of 1983's winner Nelson Piquet to be at its side quite soon, as well as the Lotus. No word on other cars for now. Everything else remains vague but promising. Reza talks about new cars from premium brands for existing and new classes, new and historical tracks, steam achievements, full course yellows, oval racing and very interesting dirt racing. Also expect to see some kind of career mode come into this sim during this year. Sadly, still no word on the stadium super trucks. Well, we're intrigued as to what Reza will deliver in 2022 while not protesting at all about all the content they delivered in 2021. We also delivered a lot of content for you in 2021, which we can prove if you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other on the podium.